trilobites. It's not a word that you commonly hear in everyday language, although I, I suspect most of you have probably seen images of these, these unique marine arthropods. Trilobites, three lobes is where that name actually comes from. According to evolutionists, these things lived 520 million years ago, pre-Cambrian. They would suggest that these things were on the earth long before the dinosaurs and that eventually they gave rise to the dinosaurs. There's only a, a few problems with that theory. Number one, trilobites have a much more complex eye than you and I. And by that, I mean this. They, they actually have what's called an optical doublet. They, they have two lenses working together with a, a refractory index between it. You and I, we only have a single lens. They have two. That would mean if everything came from a trilobite, that we're actually kind of de-evolving, that things are getting less complex, which people would say, yeah, okay, that makes sense, but also maybe not as efficient. Does, does it make sense that you've got this optical doublet, wonderful vision, and then where we would evolve to something less? Second problem is the fossil record. 1969, there was a, a gentleman by the name of William Meister who was out with a couple of his colleagues. They were looking for trilobite fossils. They were scaling up these little ledges around a place called Antelope Springs, Utah. They were tapping open rocks. Meister hit one and it split into two beautiful halves. He found actually two trilobites embedded in the sandal print of a human being. Now, I, I want you to get that for just a moment. You've got physical evidence of a human footprint, sandal print, that has two trilobites in it. Now, I, I know what evolutionists say, they discount this. Ah, oh, that's not true. It, it's an artifact. It's, it's really easy to do that. But let me tell you what's a little bit harder. Uh, what's a little harder is to actually get firsthand knowledge, to analyze the data yourself. You see, I actually had a, a guy take the original fossil out of a lockbox there in Texas because I, I wanted to see firsthand this particular fossil. And folks, there's absolutely no getting around it. It is, it's actually two trout. You can see the, the sandal stitching on this particular fossil. There's no doubt about it. It is a human sandal print with two trilobites in it. Here's what that means. That means either trilobites didn't die out 520 million years ago, as most evolutionists would suggest, but rather they were around when, when humans had been here. Or, you know, maybe, just maybe, this whole evolutionary timeline is no good. If you have a Bible, let me encourage you to open it up to Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 1, Paul here writing to the Christians of Rome. I want you to listen to what he says, starting in verse 18. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. They actually had men suppressing the truth back then. And I would suggest to you, 
We have men doing the same today. He goes on to say, because what may be known, be known of God is manifest in them, for God has shown it to them. He says, for since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Because although they knew God, they did not glorify him as God, nor were they thankful. But they became futile in their thoughts, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Professing to be wise, they became fools. They changed the glory of the incorruptible God into an image made like corruptible man, birds, four-footed animals, and creeping things. Therefore, God gave them up to the uncleanness and the lust of their hearts to dishonor their bodies among themselves, who exchanged the truth of God for the lie and worshiped and served the creature rather than the creator who is blessed forever. You know, sadly today, there's a lot of people out there who are worshiping the creation instead of the creator. Let me encourage you, examine the evidence and get into this book because this is the source of truth. I hope you'll think on these things.